what I'll talk in this video is that uh, the data sources uh, you can use for financial and economic data. So we're talking about uh, economic data or financial data. The first source that comes to my mind is the Yahoo Finance. Well, Yahoo Finance has been there for a very long time. People have been using Yahoo Finance for academic research in finance or in economics or in uh, people using uh, Yahoo Finance for a lot of uh, investment related research in the industry. It's got a lot of uh, variety of financial data, be it uh, macroeconomic indicators, be it uh, stock prices or derivative and, and so on. You've got data uh, for all kinds of market, European markets, uh, Asian markets, uh, North American markets and so on. So a very good source, free, uh, it's free of cost, so you can, most of the data is free of cost, so it's a very good source for, uh, for financial data. And then the next one that comes to my mind is the Bloomberg. Uh, it's uh, very famous among uh, finance professionals. Um, uh, however, it's, uh, it's actually not uh, free. Uh, most data in Bloomberg is proprietary, so you have to purchase it uh, by paying some money. Uh, but some of it is free. And Bloomberg uh, is, uh, is very well known in the financial research industry particularly in the industry, not less in the academia. Uh, it has got very tailored met data sets for a particular need of uh, investment professionals. So if you are someone into investment, uh, I think Bloomberg is one very good source for you. But do remember that the data uh, is uh, not free there. You have to pay a fee. Then a global financial data, it's again another uh, uh, proprietary data source where you have to pay some fee to get data but you can also get some free data from that it's very similar to bloomberg uh, the cost of data is somewhat less compared to bloomberg but i think the variety of data that you get from bloomberg is actually uh, much broader uh, and and somewhat better in my view compare as compared to global financial data and then the next thing that comes to my mind is uh, Quandl. So Quandl is very famous. It's uh, more recent actually. Uh, it's been there for just five to six years now. Uh, it's a Canadian company that provides uh, financial data. Uh, most of the data is free. Again, it's more like Yahoo Finance. Uh, but uh, I think the quality of uh, data in terms of its, its structure is better in Quandl as compared to uh, Yahoo Finance. Uh, it's just my observation. I may be wrong on that. But the data that I have used from Quandl is comes with a better structure compared to uh, Yahoo Finance. Uh, again, you can get lots of data, uh, be it uh, financial, economic or investment related data, you can get it from Quandl. Most of it is free, uh, but for some of the data, you have to pay uh, a, a money. Then World Bank. For macroeconomic data, you can uh, go to World Bank website and there you have uh, a tab called data and you can get uh, lots of uh, macroeconomic variables be it GDP, population, unemployment uh, and so on. So if you're doing macroeconomic research, uh, the website of World Bank is a very good source for your uh, research uh, data. A Federal Reserve is one where you can use, you can use uh, to get uh, macroeconomic data for the US economy. It also gives some data for the world economy, but most of it is uh, related to the US economy. Uh, and in fact, uh, most of these uh, central banks uh, yeah, across the world, they provide macroeconomic data. In India, we have uh, Reserve Bank of India. Uh, in England, it's Bank of England. Uh, so if you go to the website of these uh, central banks, you can get macroeconomic data for, for that particular uh, country. Um, data.oecd so for the oecd countries uh, you can get data from the website of the oecd so it's data.oecd um, yeah and you can also get lots of analysis uh, visual plots and, and so on uh, it's already done automatically you can you can see it in fact you can see it here right the image that i've taken from the website um, but you can also get the data and do the analysis yourself um, then you have financial data exchange. Um, it's um, it's a non-profit. Uh, it's uh, it's a non-profit, but they do sell the data. 
um, for a fee but uh, most of it is free of cost so you can you can also get uh, financial data as well as economic data from the financial data exchange um, data.gov uh, so US government has put together the data lots of data sets uh, related to technology related to social sector energy sector uh, economic sector financial sector and so on so it it contains data from yeah across the sectors not just uh, the financial economic sectors but you can get the financial sector data from data.gov uh, data is not that structured as compared to let's say yahoo finance or wandel or world bank you have to you have to do a lot of uh, processing of the data before you can use it for your research but it's a very good source where you can get lots of unconventional data um, like you can do natural language processing uh, on financial data uh, getting data from data.gov something that you cannot probably do by having data from uh, yahoo finance right uh, because yahoo finance doesn't provide uh, that kind of data sets but uh, data.gov does provide then uh, a few proprietary data oxford economics is one where it provides not just uh, historical data sets but also uh, forecasts um, you can go get forecasts from world bank free of cost but oxford economics uh, tailor it for your need um, uh, right so yeah if you want uh, like yeah, three months forecast uh, of unemployment you can ask oxford economics and it will process it, it will use its own model prepared models to forecast unemployment for a given country or a set of countries for the next three months and will give you, give you data but they charge you a fee uh, so people working in banks or investment firms um, must be well aware of oxford economics they provide uh, data uh, as well as consulting and many other services but if you want data sets you can also get it from there we also provide some free trials that also you can try Eurostat um, is basically a data set um, yeah, related to European economies so you can get uh, microeconomic and financial data uh, from the Eurostat uh, but only for the countries uh, as part of the European Union then IMF uh, another very good source for macroeconomic data uh, you can get not just uh, historical data but also some forecast um, yeah it, there are lots of analysis also done already so you can also use that uh, analysis but you can also download yourself and do your own analysis uh, if you go to IMF's uh, website uh, there is a section on data from, yeah, from there you simply go there and download uh, whatever economic variable uh, and for whichever country you want it you can simply download 